In the previous lessons of this module, you've learned how to get WordPress up and running. We've also shown you what the WordPress backend looks like and what you can do with it. However, there's one important question we haven't discussed yet. How will you use WordPress? So that's what this video will be about. WordPress started as a blogging platform. However, over the years, it evolved into a full content management system, which can be used to build all kinds of websites. You can use WordPress in many different ways to create a blog, a business website, an online store, a membership website, or to sell online courses. You could also use WordPress to create an online portfolio, a forum, an online resume, a job listing site, a knowledge base, or a help desk. With the right themes and plugins, the possibilities of WordPress are endless. But before you start building your WordPress site, it's important to think about what you want to achieve with your site. What's the mission of your site? The mission of your website consists of the ideas you have about your website. Every website owner has certain expectations of their visitors. You want them to read your posts or to buy your products. Perhaps you want to inform or entertain your readers or to improve their lives with your awesome products. Your mission is the foundation of your website, so you shouldn't think too lightly of this. Take the time and literally write down the mission of your website. You have to come up with one mission, one message to send to your audience. Once that message is clear to you, you'll be able to communicate it much better to your audience. To help you formulate the mission of your website, we've made a list of questions you should be able to answer. We've included this list in the reading materials. Once you've written down the mission of your site, you can start thinking about how you will use WordPress. What should your website look like and what kind of functionalities do you need on your site to achieve your mission? For the example site of this course, everydayimtraveling.com, the mission statement could be something like, we want to share our travel experiences with the world and report on travel trends and tips. The five friends want to accomplish this by writing blog posts. In these posts, they can write about the, their experiences all over the world, give their readers tips on where to stay and where to eat, and much more. But they also want to interact with their readers through comments and perhaps social media. So for the five friends of everydayimtraveling.com, it would be best to create a WordPress-based blog. This blog should have a common functionality and social sharing options. Like the friends of our example site everydayimtraveling.com, most people use WordPress for blogging. And as we've seen, WordPress began as a blogging platform, so the blogging functionalities are already built in and ready to go. Because of this, we'll focus on using WordPress for blogging in this course. Don't worry if you'd want to create a different kind of site though, we'll briefly explore other functionalities as well. In the next module, we'll discuss how you can customize your website to really make it fit your mission. We'll go into themes, widgets, plugins, the WordPress customizer, and all the different customization settings WordPress offers.